Okay, everyone, we're back out here at the homestead. So I went ahead and got uh, a bunch of the J-bolts put in yesterday and uh, some other stuff done. I was kind of in a mood, so I didn't, didn't get the camera out. I actually forgot it at home, but I do have one J-bolt left to put in. I have to chisel out some, some mortar that the uh, block layers left in there. I'll kind of give you an idea of what we have going on now. So you can see I have J-bolts that I put in. The mortar is a little bit different color than the other, but no big deal. This board I didn't have to do any. I'm just going around make sure nothing moved overnight. See I put that one all the way at the end. That way if I have to make any corrections I can do it. But uh, so far everything looks good. So my plan today was to come in and go ahead and get the holes drilled for the J-bolts that I put in yesterday. And once that is done, I can go ahead and put the seal plate seal down and then put these seal plates down. Now I'm not going to tighten up the J-bolts that I put in yesterday at all, just because I want that concrete mortar to cure all the way before I start putting any tension on it or anything. So I'll wait a couple days to do that. I have to chip this out enough to get a J-bolt in there and get some mortar in the hole there. Okay, so I'm gonna start off here in the corner just because this one here I did not have to add any bolts to. I think it'd be a good solid starting point for everything else to come off of. Just taking out the bolts, I'll just, I put them on there just to hold them down for the time being. So nothing would warp and they'd stay in place. Now this is a 10 inch block and the sill plate sill, like the biggest I could find was eight inches, which was not even close to, to big enough. I ended up going with the two by six sill plate sill. I'm just gonna lay two side by side. I will go ahead and grab the leaf blower and blow off this sawdust just to kind of clean it up and touch. Good leaf blower, Milwaukee. Left it out last night and it stormed all night long. Same battery, literally just picked it up for the first time today. Don't know how, I forgot that it was out yesterday, but here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the seal seal. Like I said, I'm overlapping these as you can see. I'm only gonna overlap them just a touch. Just enough to keep it to where nothing can come up in between, which nothing would anyway, but I'm putting this on here. I wanna make sure that it overlaps the outside of the block and the end down there. You can cut off any extra, just wanna make sure you cover everything. Like that. Right. Now whenever we set the other one up there, it'll overlap it and still come out and meet the edge. Now this one is literally not going to have much, nothing holding it until we put the board on. I'm going to make it a little bit long. We don't want to be short. We can always come back and trim it. I'm going to do the same here with this one. Make sure we're down past our, our block. And then all the way down here. Just like that. And another thing we need to check on is our alignment on the outside of the wall. I got a couple clamps here I'm gonna to use to try to push it out before we tighten anything down. Cause I want it as flush to the outside of that wall as possible. You can kind of see that our block is out a little bit. So if I can push that, and if I can't push it, I'm going to go ahead and make the hole just a tad bigger. But down here, it's almost perfect. I'm just going down. Make sure we have enough pulled out the whole way down the line. 
and there we go. I'm only gonna put these two on for now because I still wanna be able to lift that end up to get foam under that. And I just want to make sure that I'm flush on the outside there. Then let's go ahead and snug it up. Now I'm not gonna over compress this wood just where I have a little dimple, about half the washers set into that wood. Then we'll move down to the end to get the foam started on that one. And I'm just gonna put the hammer, attempt to put the hammer under there like that. And that there appears to be the one. Now the new J bolts that I put in, I put them in in the center of the block or as close to center of the block as I can. If you look, the contractor that did the basement, they put them off to the inside for whatever reason. Code says it has to be on the inside third of the board. So they still catch the inside third. There's a couple that's pretty darn close. I don't know why you just wouldn't put it smack dab in the middle, but make sure everything's good. But that's beyond me. That goes like that. That's all tucked nice. I might run these two straight down and then put that corner piece on first, just so it's holding my foam on. We'll see how it works, works out. Okay, that one's on. Now, I'm not gonna show you the whole way around. We'll kind of speed up the process, but I wanted to give you an idea, step for step, on how I'm doing these ones. So there we go. That's one board complete on this puzzle. So we're just gonna do that the whole way around.